Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. On the Opportunity Bank I can we have had partly cloudy skies throughout the day today. It has also been hazy throughout the day, and because of that haze, the visibility is a little bit reduced. And the wind right now is coming out of the north or the northeast in most spots, and that is transporting smoke from the Canadian wildfires into Montana, which is why it is hazy. And as we go through the rest of tonight and through tomorrow, it will continue to be hazy. But notice that for most of Montana, we're just seeing this blue or light blue that indicates that it will be hazy, but the air quality really shouldn't be impacted all that much. We'll generally be in the moderate category or the good category in most spots. As we head into tomorrow, and Wednesday. That's when a cold front is going to be working its way eastward across the state. And that cold front is going to switch the wind direction to come out of the west and the west southwest. And that will bring cleaner air into our area. So still hazy tomorrow, but then we should get rid of that haze and smoke as we head into Wednesday. Now, in terms of precipitation today, most of it has been in southwestern Montana, but over the past few hours, some of that precipitation has been around the Helena area. But really, once you get north of Helena, it has been mainly sunny and dry for the entire day today. As we go through this evening and into tonight, there will continue to be scattered showers and storms, primarily in southwestern Montana, including around the Helena area. But that precipitation will taper off once we get past sunset. We're also going to have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies overnight tonight. Heading into tomorrow, we are going to have partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies throughout the morning. More sunshine the further north in the state you are and more clouds the further south in the state you are. It will be mostly dry during the morning, just a couple isolated showers and storms. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. A lot of locations around the Helena area will continue to remain dry, but we are going to have a chance to see a few showers and storms, especially in the higher elevations. And then later on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, that's when there are going to be scattered showers and storms around as that cold front passes through our area. And as we go through Wednesday, that precipitation will continue to work its way eastward. So once we get into Wednesday afternoon and evening, most of the precipitation will be done with around the Helena area. We'll actually clear out and see some sunshine as well. Throughout the day today, it has been a bit breezy, but that wind will diminish as we go through this evening. Tonight, the wind will not be an issue at all. Tomorrow, a little breeze in spots, but still the wind's really not going to be a huge issue. And then as we head into Wednesday, that's when that wind is going to pick up, especially along and behind the cold front. We are going to have gusty winds with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts over 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times, especially along and just east of the Continental Divide. And that wind is going to be coming out of the west in most spots. That wind will then diminish as we head into Wednesday night. Low temperatures tonight are going to be in the upper 40s and low to mid 50s, so a pleasant night. And then for tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be in the 70s for most of us, so it is going to be another mild day. A few 80s around the further north of Helena you go. As we head into Wednesday, temperatures will cool down with highs back in the 60s and the lower 70s. It remains cool on Thursday with highs only in the 60s, but we warm back up into the 70s for Friday and this weekend. Mostly dry Thursday through Saturday, and then more showers are possible on Sunday and Monday.